Hi, I'm Mariangela D'Agunto and welcome back to Earth from Space from the ESA Web TV Studios. Today, Copernicus Sentinel-2 shows us the receding waters of Lake Chad. The 22nd of March is World Water Day, which focuses on the importance of fresh water. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal number 6 aims to ensure the availability and sustainable management of water for all by 2030. This image, captured in October 2018, takes us over Lake Chad at the southern edge of the Sahara, where water supplies are dwindling. Once one of Africa's largest lakes, Lake Chad has shrunk by around 90% since the 1960s. This receding water is down to a reduction of precipitation induced by climate change, as well as increasing agricultural water use and a higher human demand for fresh water. Straddling the border of Chad, Niger, Cameroon and Nigeria, the lake is a major source of fresh water for millions of people in the area. The rapid decline of the lake's waters in just 34 years is clear to see when compared with this image taken in November 1984 by the US Landsat 5 satellite. As the lake continues to dry up, many farmers and herders move towards greener areas or to larger cities to seek alternative work. Several attempts have been made to replenish these shrinking waters, however, little progress has been achieved. The borders of the lake's body are only partly visible as the majority of the shoreline is swamp and marsh. The Chari River, visible snake in its way towards Lake Chad, provides over 90% of the lake's waters. The demand for water is growing inexorably. Access to water is vital, not only for drinking, but also for agriculture, energy and sanitation. By providing measurements of water quality and detecting changes, the Copernicus Sentinel-2 mission can support the sustainable management of water resources. And this brings us to the end of this edition. I'm Mariangela D'Acunto. Thanks for watching and see you next week.